was beautiful. Um, well, you just, you just like cut out mid speech. That was incredible. Oh dear, oh, I, I, I well, got it all. <laughs> I don't, um, I don't... Well, in any case, tonight we have Ashesless Christina, Camille, and Ripper. Who wants to go over what happened last time? So. Last time, we managed to get to the top of the mountain and defeat the goat spirit, who seemed to have gone a little crazy over not being worshipped in the past few decades. Afterwards, we made our way down and went to the tower that Dida was hoping to enter when we were attacked by gargoyles on top of the wall that is currently guarding it. We defeated them, and I got a rope over the wall to let us in. And that was pretty much it. Fair enough. Um, so, I think we'd started with the, um, with the combat there. Um, so I think we ended with the combat there, I should say. Yes, we did. So, um, what would you like to do now that that's over? In terms of getting over the wall, um, you do have the option of that there is a rope that's still there. Because I think I think you've you've, you've seen um, the effects of running through the flames. Yes, we have. I am going to climb over the rope, or I'm going to climb up the rope. I don't know if the gargoyles have anything like diamonds for eyes or something. I um I don't believe so. Let's just have a have a quick look. Uh, I mean they they don't have goggles for eyes. I can say that. <laughs> but whether they uh they may have something uh value on them. Yeah. So um there's not really. Yeah, you know, there's not really anything on the uh the, the goggles. It's you know what you can uh what you can make of the enchanted stone, really. Uh, I'll follow people over the rope, over the wall. This enchanted stone, it's on the other side, this side? Or it's just an enchantment on the gate that we can't get through? No, 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 I mean that uh, gargoyles are like an, uh, like an oh, enchanted got, yeah. stone work. Ah, uh, um, yeah, no. Can't bother carrying that. Mm -hmm. That's would, like... would be funny if they had something valuable on them, because seeing as I wasn't here last week, I just walk out and just go, yoink. <laughs> and so, I didn't believe they did, but I thought I would do a check. But yes, that's what. Uh, yeah. So you can indeed um, see um, see a tower uh, there. Uh, it's got a door that does not appear to be locked. Go and barbarian. the barbarian continues on round, but yeah. Push what? the barbarian uh, through the door. <laughs> if you have seen the door. <laughs> I know it's not locked, but you go first, so if there's nothing horrible on the other side, you take the hit. Rage, open the nah, door. If I... Nah, if anything, you should be going first. You're the healthiest out of any. You and Ripper are the healthiest out of any of us. Nah, you, you, you know me, I I'm a commanding not... presence, I lead from the back. <laughs> and I'm not wasting a rage slot on a door. Okay. Oh. <laughs> However the exact order is, um, inside, um, you can see that there are, um, uh, there are some skeletons, there are some, sorry, there are some remains of um of chess uh, and there are there are some bones uh lying inside as well um you can see um that the uh the fireplace um has a uh, has a pair of dragon heads interesting are these all just a... like empty are these all empty crates on top Opener smash. So um, they're not specifically um, they're not specifically empty crates. Some of them are completely empty, and others it's like spoiled provisions. Um, there's uh, your old like rusted weapons. 
whoever was here last was, was has been gone for a long time. Is there anything amongst the bones? Any scraps of clothing or items that might identify who's dead? Yeah. So, um, so looking looking amongst them, um, there's not um, so th there's not a lot uh, in the way of um, salvage <laughs> salvageable clothes. Um, but um, you will be able to to find some, uh, you know, some rusted remains of armor uh, that you can see uh, bear uh, a silver, a tarnished silvered uh, dragon skull. So dragon's head, I should say. It, it might have been the Order of the Silver Dragon. Mm. <laughs> huh. We we know that the one paladin we found was a skeleton. Do you reckon all their forces are like that? You mean the one that I took the arm off? Or was that something you found last time mm. that I missed? No, um, <laughs> on our on our way to Castle Ravenloft, or on our way to the castle, or to the Count's castle, there was that one skeleton with the order who came up demanding to know if we were allied with him. He was ah. a skeleton too, wasn't he? So they could be undead. I think I may have missed that one. Yeah, it might it might be an undead order. Hmm. 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 Have a nosy upstairs? So so I'm like <laughs> Is there an upstairs to the tower? There is. So, um, so you can see that there is a flight of stairs here uh, that looks to be in good enough condition to walk up. Uh, you can also see that uh, while there's you know dust um, on the stairs, uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of snow, but there does seem to be some prints going sort of both ways. Can I have a closer look at those the prints to determine trying to determine what it is? Gosh, my English is failing today. Uh, certainly. Um, so, uh, they, so they look to be like you know, uh, like humanoid prints, and uh, yeah, you can make a survival check to determine a bit more about them. Nice. Twenty-three. So it looks like someone's come in. Uh, well, you know, come come in, gone up the stairs, gone down the stairs, gone back up the stairs, and gone down the stairs. Um, though you're able to make out four separate tracks, uh, it would be unclear, like, exactly when these were made, um, but they certainly seem to be, sort of, like, in the last week. So, there probably was some, an inter you know, some intervening time between <laughs> leaving each of the tracks. Um, they didn't go back up the stairs, forgot where they came there from, and then remembered at the bottom. But, um, that's, that's what's been left. You can't hear sounds of uh, human life above you. Maybe I just send up Mirak as a as a proxy, and that way, if something does happen, we know we can get out immediately instead of being trapped on the staircase. Because I've already scouted the top. That's why we have that revealed to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go for it. All right, I'm gonna send Mirak up to the next level. Well, he's That's doing fine. Oh, well, he's over there. Can uh, we're gonna get a good look at this armor? Absolutely. So the armor looks to be badly rusted chainmail, uh, bearing uh, like bearing like a silver ensign of a dragon. Does it look in better shape or worse shape than mine? Um, oh, it would be in, it would be in much worse shape. Any other identifying, um, documents or, or any kind of, anything else this body might have on it that might be useful to us? Um, not in here, I'm afraid. Oh, and, um, just before we continue, uh, I will do, like, no expect, but, um, I believe we do have uh, someone else who's joined in the Roll20, oh, uh, in the Roll20, in the Discord. Yeah, sorry, I overslept. Fresh. No worries. 
Where did you run in? Where's your ankle? Hurts like a bitch. Sounds about right. Aim pills are actually why I overslept. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll, yeah, they can do that. Yeah, well, I'm glad you made it anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you can get a token popped on. The others are just sort of investigating this tower. And I'm gonna okay. show you what Moak's able to see. So, up here, um, you're able to see, um, a workstation that looks to have been, uh, looks to have been used recently. Um, the workbench is pretty uh, is pretty old and looks like it's been patched up. And there do look to have been um, some documents uh, that have been have been left on there. Um, the, unfortunately, they're written in a strange cipher um, that seems to contain a lot of lines and slashes. Um, you can also see um, you can also see that the, the firebase continues and there's a, there's a wolf's head above. Alright, we uh, are... a ladder seems to leave to the top of the tower. We are clear to go up. Okay. You... Uh, can we have a look at those papers? Yeah, that's what I was hoping to do. Very worse, just take them with us. Mm hmm. I can guarantee that someone in the party can read them. I cannot guarantee that they're here at present. <laughs> can we uh, identify the language? Ah. Um, ah, they're just not here. <laughs> I mean, you can you can certainly uh, you can certainly make a, an intelligence check um, to attempt to decipher the message. I will help Kamir please... do an intelligence check. Great. <laughs> <Right. laughs> what languages does everybody know? Oh, that's a dirty twenty. The best kind. Okay, so with um. With a dirty 20, um, Kamir is able to, uh, to decipher the message. I'm afraid I don't have a copy of the encoded message, but I do have a copy of the plain text um, that I can put in your journals. So um, it's um, so the, the main document is, uh, is one that's been left on, uh, on the surface. Um, this one would be sort of like the easiest uh, to decode and would sort of be the one that you'd want to like sit about decoding here. Um, so that's something that you would be able to do. It would take several minutes, so I just want to check if anyone else is doing anything else while Kamir's doing this. Uh, I'm just keeping an eye out for anything. Yeah. Seeing if any, anybody needs my assistance. No worries. Um, in that case, you know, through, um, through some tools of, uh, you know, frequency analysis and, you know, all the usual cryptography stuff, um, Kamiya has decoded the message that's written. It is written in, uh, in, in, in an encrypted common. Um, so, oh no, I don't want you to edit it. I just want you to be able to see it. There we go. That's what you're able to, uh, to decipher. My dear sister, I have found myself in this strange land on its frigid slopes. I have taken up a position in the dirt, deserted tower. I can sense the stone works are not to be trusted and that there are unquiet spirits above. I cannot tarry long. I have heard of a temple at the summit. I seek a way out of there. If this is the last you hear of me, know this. I never forgot what you did for me, Dominos. So it sounds like he was on his way to the t same temple we're headed to. Mm. But something kept him from leaving the tower. Likely the gargoyles. Well, but if that is him dead, or he might have well have made it to the temple. 
Or that oh, like yeah, skull that could be skeleton. That could be skeleton downstairs. It could be. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's likely the silver dragon person in the basement. He might have been sent to investigate the temple, but couldn't make it because of the weather. There was something in that letter about things in the sky as well. Unquiet an eye out for those. spirits. Yeah, oh. it could be something on the top floor. And now that it's read out, I'm going to pop it in all it. your journals. We might want to keep our wits about us and probably continue to explore. Yeah. You mean you don't? Um, I know some people have been uh, suggesting something about the body b below. Uh, I think it's fair to say that this letter looks to be fairly new. Uh, you know, made. Yeah, made somewhat recently. Was that that body's old and dead? That body so well, the arm is rusted. It would be unusual for them to have been written by the same hand. So he did. So if he did make it out, or he did not die in the tower. Uh, well, it, he does not appear to be the uh, the skeleton uh, on the bottom level. I am going to go to the top floor. No worries. I will follow to give a uh, backup. If needed. Mm -hmm. No worries. So, um, as you get to the top floor, uh, that's when you can see uh, a lot more skeletons. Um, they look to be uh, in a comparable state to uh you know to the one on the ground floor and in some respects even worse because they've been more exposed to the elements um amid the uh, the bones you can see uh that one of them um uh you know has a uh has a set of uh of scale mail that appears to be magic and it also doesn't appear to be made out of metal um but a sort of silvery, uh, a silver-looking um, material that looks more like leather, or oh. feels more like leather, I should say. Can I investigate oh. it? Thinking dragon hide, maybe. Potentially. Can I roll Arcana to try to determine what it is? You can indeed. You need help with that. I do not think so. That's a 14. Um, so with a 14, that you can uh, identify it as having been made out of shed dragon scales. Hmm. The ones That's where they've been out. stripped off the dragon uh, uh, feel different. This, these ones have been shed deliberately. Well, these are... This is a dragon... This is dragon armor. Would anyone like it? I wouldn't be able to wear uh, it, I don't think. I assume if it counts as scale, it's well above light armor. <laughs> same. Um, I can wear it, I think. Oh, so you I'm take it. It's a proper piece of gear right there. It looks like it would be medium armor, so three of you are, yeah. uh, have proficiency with it. I'll take it. Okay. Um, so as you pick it up, I'm going to need you all on the map. Um, you can, uh, you can feel restless spirits. Um, oh, all of that, okay. Coalescing yeah, into uh, a corporeal form. Uh-oh. Yeah, had to touch it, didn't you, come here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not the one who- oh boy. We're surrounded. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know if you did it, if you did do it, so... <laughs> <laughs> you can see one of them uh, call out, uh, uh, "Curse ye who defile the dead!" And um, they're all looking in a, how should we say, an initiative rolling move and mood. Can everyone roll initiative, please? Oosh! <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. <laughs> I am so glad I have my great sword for a reason. <laughs> 
because it was either going to be a 2 or a 15. <sighs> rangers suck. We don't talk about the rangers. <laughs> you better take back that blasphemy right now, or I will take off my belt. <laughs> hey, I'm a signalier. I talk shit about rangers all the time. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, my bullocks. I've popped their uh, their initiatives in the uh, in the chat. Alrighty. Are they considered undead? Are they, are they very much look to be undead. Huzzah! I could do something. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh boy, we're in trouble. Blue is up first. No worries. <laughs> like, uh, do something to make us less surrounded. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so if it's if, if it's blue and it's it's hope that's picked up the armor, uh, and that's fine. Um, so one of the uh, one of the blues uh, is going to uh, yeah is going to attempt to make a touch attack, and. The other blue is gonna come into here to uh, to do the same. Would I get an opportunity attack on that blue? Um, yes, you would. Oh, not that I can really do anything. It has because to be a I'll... melee attack. So unless you're planning <laughs> I to make don't an actually have strike, any melee. Yeah. Um... Punch it. Punch it. Yeah. No, I can't do anything. Never mind. <laughs> I, I get. I can't even punch it because I do zero damage on a punch. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. Well, at least all but one of you are within my circle of protection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As for the blues, their attacks are going to be a 14 and an 11, which your armor should keep Whoa. out. Yeah, that won't do anything to me. Uh, all right. Who's next? Next up is Ripper. The first thing Ripper does is, is uh, see. What's your meaning in coming after us like this? We're not ones that, get, that killed you all. But if you need to be properly sent to the, or, or the great whatever, then Rip is your man. And he's going to activate protection from evil on himself. And then that's not action. There's a bonus action. I'm going to look at this, the closest scumbag to me, which is going to be this one. And I'm going to mark that as my Slayer's Prey. And that's all I got for now. All right, red. That's fine. So I'll pop down that uh, you're uh, that you're concentrating on that, um, and that the uh, reds are gonna come in uh, and attempt to make their attacks on hope. With a sixteen and a seven, though, I think the reds will also be missing. Yep. Um. Yeah, and I don't think any of them provoke opportunity attacks with their movement. Um, Green. Okay. So, um, yeah. So uh, one of the greens will have no problem coming round and attempting to do the same. That one's going to be a 19 to hit. On yeah, it needs to beat it. That's fine. Okay. So, um, uh, yeah. So with that hit, you take 13 cold damage. And can you make a constitution saving throw, please? Yeah. I have advantage on because I'm in my ring of protection. Hooray! Oh, well, your ring, of protection, wait, your ring of protection is plus one, isn't it? Rather than advantage. Oh. Is that advantage? I don't. It might be. Either way. Uh, let me double check that. I'm still waking up. No, Ring of Protection uh, would be a plus one. Mm -hmm. Plus one, protection. okay. Never. That yeah. still does, that's, yeah, there you go. I'm thinking about another character I'm playing. Oh boy, I need to wake up. <laughs> that's fine. In that case, it's going to be 13 damage and a con save, please. 18. Okay. So with a con well, you're uh, able to keep out. Okay, you're able to keep out the worst of the chilling, 
Um, uh, and then the other green... Mm, Is it 13 cold damage? Yes, 13 cold damage, yes. Uh, the other green can't easily get to hope, but might as well try and make a touch attack on Christina. As, uh, as far as they're concerned, you're, uh, you are all comfortable, it's just a matter of degrees. That's going to be a 17 to hit on Christina. That hits. No worries. So if I pop that through, that's going to be 14 cold damage. And can you make a con save, please? That's fine. You receive no additional effects from the chilling. And that's going to be the greens. Next up is Hope. Hey, retaliation. Yeah. <laughs> what can I do to retaliate? I have a long list of things that work against undead. Fuck them up, sir. <laughs> that's my entire uh, oath, is killing the undead. Uh, huh. That'll take up my action, but... I think it will take up my action. Yes, it will. But... Uh... Would turn the unholy work on them? Would what? Turn the unholy. Um, I believe that one is for fiends and undead. They definitely seem to be one yeah. of those two. Alright. I am going to attempt to use it. Uh, I'll take use my action, channel divinity, and turn the unholy. I need all of them within the thirty feet radius to make a DC fourteen wisdom save. DC fourteen wisdom save. That's fine. Okay, so four of them are turned, and four of them are not. One got a fifteen, you see, and the next one was eleven. So anyway, so we've got four and four. Um, so if I mark down the ones that are turned with, I normally use it for frightened, but we might as well. And they're doing things on their next turn. Uh, if there was anything about this that you'd want the the uh, the, ca the other characters to know, uh, feel free to say. I point out the ones that are turned and say, do not take to hit them because the moment you hit them, my thing is no longer active. Focus on the ones still trying to kill us. Very good. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I can do. So use my action. Uh, I can do the attack action. Is let's see, bonus action. No, unfortunately, there's nothing else I can do. Even my healing spells are considered actions at the moment. That's correct. Uh, healing word is not on the paladin spell list, to my knowledge. So, uh, I'm just gonna get be prepared for any, like, ready up myself to be prepared for any attacks afterwards and move on. All right. Next, it. Is, next it is my turn. Bonus action. Blade song. Main action. I am going to cast Green Flame Blade on Blue in front of me. No worries. Since I'm flanking, do I get advantage? That's correct. Alright. Make a melee, melee spell attack. Mm -hmm. I assume I don't need the advantage with the 17. Oh, we can check for a crit. I can check for a crit. Not quite. No, quite. But uh, still, uh, still a good hit. So that is going to do five piercing damage from my rapier. 
plus, because you're casting it at 5th level, well, as a 5th level character, I should say. Yeah. Then... 2d8 fire for 13. And then the red adjacent to him is going to take 8 fire. Um, so it says it... Um... So it says at fifth level you do normal damage plus one d eight, and then, and then the oh. other one takes an intelligence modifier. Yeah, because you, um, yeah. So you're you're still on the one d eight stage. Yes, that is cor that is correct. Yes, let me mm -hmm. correct that. So, an additional seven fire to blue, and two. And five to red. That's fine. Uh, uh, is the rapier magic, remind me? It is silvered. It is silvered. That's fine. Uh, silvered. Silvered will do here. Um, okay. So so the five piercing damage is all going through. I'm afraid the fire won't all go through. But that's still going to be eight damage to this one on the left. And... Um, and it's two plus your int modifier on the one on the right, correct? Yep, five rounded down to two. Yeah, five half to two. That's fine. And that's, that's... Uh, yeah, is there anything else you'd like to do? Nope, that is my turn. Christina, you're up. Mm -hmm. I would like to rage. Go for it. Uh, is that the teleporting one? Yep. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. Very helpful. Then, uh, I'll take a swing at the orange that's not turned. Very good. Uh, 12. Meets it, beats it. Good. You use that with one hand or two, remind me. Two. Two, that's fine. So that's going to be 11 damage because you're raging. Uh, and all of that goes through because it's with a magic weapon. Orange is bloodied. Second swing. Oh, yeah. 15 more hit. Uh, okay, for six magical slashing damage. That'd be me. Uh, okay. Alright. Orange. Orange. So, one of them is getting out of here, and unless anyone wants to uh, make an opportunity attack, um, okay, then sort of. Oh, it. No. Fun? Bye! Like, okay, then, I orange, it, then I might as well GM layer that orange. Because <laughs> uh, it's gone for a minute, right? Uh, they're turned for a minute. Meaning that they're on our side. That's that's not... That's, I mean, that's not what how turning dead works. That is not what turning oh, needs, sadly. It you would be what it was. <laughs> Yet again, I don't know because the only DM I had when playing a paladin said that it was how it worked, and I don't know. That I, I think I think it's how it works in earlier editions. Okay, if that would make sense. I did grow up playing third edition. Right, let, let's uh, let's get this confirmed. Okay, a turned creature must spend its turns trying to move as far away from me as it can and can only cannot willingly to face it. For you, it also can't take reactions. For its action, it can only use the dash action to try and escape from an effect that, or try and escape from an event that affects it from moving. If there's nowhere to move, the creature can use the dash dodge action. So they're heading away for a minute. I just need to check if there was a repeat save thing in effect. There is not. Okay, so they're just basically terrified of us. Uh, they... Yeah, they're, they're, they're going away and will essentially leave the fight. They're out of combat for a minute, basically. Well, uh -huh. if, if, we, if we can kill the others before that minute's up and get out of here. Yep. Yeah. 
You got to admit it, folks. Okay, so that's one of the oranges. And then the one who Christina hits will try and hit Christina with a seven. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, that's going to be the oranges. All right, next is Dom. Okay. Um, yeah, I was going to take a punt on this, but you just confirmed it. Sorry, I'm going to move five, ten over to here. I'm going to bonus action hex that surviving orange. Mm -hmm. And then just try and hit it with two Eldritch Blasts. No worries. 23 will hit. Oh, hang on, sorry. One, and then if it kills it, I'll try with the other one on the another one, if that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. That's what I meant to say. Uh, a nine. Okay, oh, so be my... nine force plus yeah, 14 oh. necrotic. Yeah. Uh, that would be, sorry, five necrotic. Uh, yeah, that would be, uh, that would be enough. You can use your second Eldritch Blast way, but you can't move the hex because you're using no, your bonus action. No, that'll be a bonus up. action next time. That's fine, yeah. Um, so I'll use it on green. Do you want me to re-roll that 19? So the, so the um, green that's not turned. No, 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 it's right, it's right, because it's going to be, I mean, it's still going to be a 19, in it? So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'm more than happy to one of the 19. And then you okay. can roll another force damage. Okay. Oh, for the 14 on that green. Uh, okay, that would be enough to bloody green. I get your temporary hit points. Woo! Yay! And then Absolutely. Yeah. Got to ask you how you finish off, Orange, but... Uh... Oh, oh, it's not important. <laughs> Fair enough. Disintegrated. Back up to mm. blue. Back up to blue. So, one of the blue... Oh, I like you. You got one of each initiative in the end. That's funny. Anyway, one of the blues is out of there, um, and the uh, the other one's still going to try and go for a uh, for a touch attack with a twenty three to hit on hope. Yeah, that will hit. That's going to be eleven cold damage. And can you make a con save, please? Yep. Where is the constitution? There it is. That's going to be a fifteen with my plus one. That's fine. You're able to keep out the worst of the cold effects. All right, Ripper. Okay, Ripper's gonna see that uh, Hope took those uh, those shots, unfortunately, and say, "So, sorry, sorry, they did love one bad. It is new, and I'm gonna do si do and use the uh, my." Superior dice here for um, bait and switch. I could just get the thing going. So I'm actually gonna switch places with you. I'm actually not anywhere near death. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, but you can trust me. You're gonna like this part. Uh, yeah, I only chose the center because that way everybody's being touched by my aura protection. <laughs> oh, everybody still is, but. Uh, I'm Except sorry. Dom. My, my, my thing is acting stupid right now. Well, Dom's being dumb and getting out of there, so. Hmm? Alright, so I'm going to roll one of these. It's not letting me roll a d8. I don't know why. Okay, here we go. So you get, when we switch places, you get four temporary HP. Okay. And the best, the best of all, you're still going to be in a little spot right there for, you know, to help uh, give a boy advantage. And I'm going to use my bonus action here to actually activate uh, another little fate feature, which is my Eldritch Claw. As you see, well, what you guys would see was, a, like, it seems like um, red mist, uh, blood color mist is coming out of, uh, you know, uh, Ripper's right arm. And yeah, we're gonna take a swipe at El Scumbago over here in green. Go for it. Eighteen. Eighteen's gonna hit, and this is gonna be magical damage, I believe. Yeah, actually, it's gonna be fifty. It's gonna be magical damage, uh, weapon damage, and Slayer's free damage. So. 
Oh, I just mean for the purposes of resistance. That's going to be magical damage. Yes, it is. It's all going to be magical. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so if I pop... Oh, go on. So a total of 12 points of uh, slashing magical damage. And uh, can I do anything else? Nah, I'll stick with that. That's you know, nah, nah, screw him. Uh, also, let's make it a grappling strike too. No worries. So, what does it do on a, a grappling strike? On a grappling strike, maybe after you hit a if you hit a creature with a melee attack uh, on your turn, you can expend one to bring a di grappling dice and, and try to grapple the target as a bonus action. Okay. Um. I. I... I think you use your bonus action to activate the Eldritch Claw. Eight in any case, the, the total damage is going to be 12, and that will be okay. enough to um, to finish off green. Okay, in that case, I forget that. Just you, just that tendril of, uh, of mist just punches a hole straight through this thing, and just, you know, pretty much bisects it. Mm. Absolutely. That's it, I'm done. Alright, next up is red. Next up is red. So, one of them is getting out of there. Uh, and then the uh, the other one's still going to try and make an attack on Hope. But that's going to be a 6 to hit. No. Who's next? Next is green. Okay, so one of them's getting out of there, and the other's dead. Next is Hope. So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be attacking the blue that's right on top of my head. Uh, let's see here. Alright, if I hit with this attack, I am going to uh, use my Divine Smite. Well, let's see if we can give a kick first. Absolutely. 23 to hit. 23 will hit? Fish for oh, the crest. I accidentally, I ac yeah, I accidentally uh, clicked my dagger instead of... It's full plus 5, but I accidentally clicked my dagger instead of my... That's fine. We might as well do a second one anyway. That way you can make sure that it rolls the correct uh, weapon die. There's that. That's fine. I'll Not a crit, hard. but at least you've got your weapon uh, selected. There's that. And then let me do the... That's fine. So nine wouldn't be lethal, but you've got your divine smite. Uh, I'll do it at second level. Why not? Uh, that's all right. Uh, uh it's going to be 4d8 if it's going to second level, because these are undead. Uh, there's the first 2d8. That, uh, wait, is it 10? Still it? Uh, I mean, uh, it's a 10 will. Alright, uh, yeah, well, uh, no use wasting another one. Uh, there you go. Did max damage on one of those die. Nice. Mm -hmm. Chopping off Blue's head, next thing you know, ray of white light hits it. No worries. Is there anything I should like to do? Because I think you should still have a second attack. I do. I am going to. Will my Divine Smite let me do work on the second attack as well? Uh, nothing about the Divine Smite's description says you can't do that. You can only, you, you, have, you have to stop when you run out of spell slots, but other than that, there's no restriction. That's the nat 20. Let's go. Might not even need the Divine Smite. Alright. You, know, you probably won't. No, oh, maybe I do. 
Oh. I'm still good. I'm still gonna do it. I have a second level spell slot spell, but I haven't used any of them yet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let me hit. That. Go away! I know I rolled the crit. The dragon was still eating the dice on my screen. One. Two. That's fine. So, uh, all of that will be enough for Red. Oh, uh, do you want to finish off? Let's get out of here. Uh, same thing. I'm, as soon as I finish slicing off Blue's head and the light hits it, I turn around, hitting through Red, also heading with a bright white light. Like one what, yeah, single I'm... cleave, you slice through both of them. Yep. This is why the undead should stay dead. <laughs> no worries. Here and mark off my spell slots. I use one torch level. I'm going to need that one. There we go. Now let's get out of here before the others return. Fuck <laughs> it! Uh huh. I, I presume oh. you're, you're still dragging that armor out, even if there's someone inside it. <laughs> I'm strong. I'll grab it. Yeah. <laughs> And my hands are still on it. Might as well. We already put you death at this point, and why don't contest the grave robbing? We've already killed a bunch of spirits for it. Well, I mean, yeah. if you're using, a sh if you, yeah, so um, I mean, you would have had to put it down to use the great sword, but you can certainly pick it back yeah. up again and go. Yep, pick it back up and book it. Go, get out of here, man. Okay. No, no, no. So uh, I'm just going to briefly pop you on the uh, the Barovia map. Um, as, uh, you know, you're getting out before the, um, before the spirits return. So, um, you know, as you, you know, leg it up the, uh, the, the path, uh, I'm just going to show you just very briefly on the Barovia map, uh, that, um, so you can see that you've been to the tower here. Uh, and you can see that there's a bridge that's going to be ahead. It's maybe, yeah, it's maybe half a mile away. Let's make our way to the bridge <laughs> so we can make our way to the mountain. Cross the maybe bridge. A full mile a away. <laughs> okay. And um, yeah, so um, as you uh, as you go to the bridge. Um, so you can see, because you're coming from down here, um, that there seems to be uh, that there seems to be a figure, um, you know, cloaked and riding a charcoal black horse. Um, that's uh, that's here yeah, on the uh, on the bridge. And before we get there, can I just like tap my shoulder with my uh, healing hand? Oh, you'd have yeah, had plenty of time to, uh, to to spend an action doing that, or indeed anything else. You've you've got, you're putting a mile of travel. Yep. Yeah, all right. I'm touching my shoulder like there. Hey, sis. <laughs> Who else needs <laughs> needs to be healed? Little sister um, does. <laughs> You can have 10. There you go. Ten, ten. I'm still at 60% health. I should be fine. I've got more health than I started with. <laughs> I'm ready to crack on. <laughs> How much health are you giving me? I gave you 10. Okay. I patted you on the shoulder like, don't die. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to give mine. Well, actually, no, I'll just use the full amount because why not? Mm. I need it. All right, I am looking great. Okay. So, this dude over the bridge, I'm thinking mm -hmm. I can send Glanaventa. Sorry, I'm talking to the rest of the party, really. I can send Glanaventa because I can talk through Glanaventa. So I can see what he's about before we rush in and do whatever. Murder? Oh, where's yeah. the phone and all that? 
Mm. So that was just called charge into the unknown. Yes, and then the venter. Yes. People alright with that? <laughs> Fair enough. Just Wish. Uh, try speaking common and then I guess again in Draconic and Abyssal if it doesn't understand because those are my only three languages. If it doesn't understand any of those, then we're boned. Just say, why yeah, you got this bridge? You can give you our... <laughs> no. No worries. So as uh, as Glanaventa you know, goes to, to speak... Um, the, um, neither horse nor rider make any response to Glanaventa's presence, uh, and neither respond to, uh, to her calls. Okay, strong okay, so silent to go type. around and not interact. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll leave Glanaventa there, but I could be able to relay that back to the rest of the party. It's not saying anything. I should have a question for you. When you got close to it, did it have one of these uh these markings of uh the um Order of the Dragon people? Good question. It does Can... not. I don't feel you like the guardian of the bridge. Yeah. Can I tell what sort of creature it is? Being this close. So, yeah, so looking looking at it, it seems to be a um like a hooded figure riding a horse. Glanaventa can certainly make an intelligence check. I have a question I would like to discuss with the DM and the rest of the party. What would happen if I put on this armor piece? Speaking out of character, just purely curious. You'd get whatever effect is on the armor. I'd yeah, I think assume... It's... I'd assume it wasn't anything bad if they were actively wearing it when we found the body. Because I really want Hope to put it on. I'm doing it. <laughs> Remember, just gave me final motivation. While y'all doing that, I'm putting on the dang armor piece. Did, did a 13 reveal anything? Because otherwise, God of is just going to try and take his hood off. No worries. Uh, a 13 reveals uh, nothing, I'm afraid. Fair enough. Uh, God of Ed will try and use her beak to uh, pull the whole hood back. See, see uh, what reaction she gets. <laughs> she gets. No worries. So as uh, as Glanaventa does that, um, the uh, both horse and rider uh, disappear like ash on the wind, and uh, Glanaventa can can see, and you know you'd also be able to hear uh, the bridge begin to shake violently for some time. However, um, after a minute of this passes, uh, the bridge seems to return to normal. The horse and rider do not appear. And as you are not on the bridge, uh, you are not uh, affected by uh, by any of these. Ooh. Any of I think I might have helped us oh. dodge a bullet there. <laughs> you very well might have. Oh, let's cross. That's what I do for the armor, because I'm putting the armor on. Across the bridge. Fly, you fools! Oh, uh, what stats do I have for the armor since I'm putting it on? Oh, um... Okay, so it looks to be magical. You've not really discerned much about it. Um, but it would be, it would be a form of scale mail. Alright, so I'll just put scale mail on there. I doubt anybody has identified. I have detect, but not identified. Yeah, and, and I'll just put on a normal scale mount until we know much about it. No worries. I mean, I, I do like you to make uh, your arcana checks to try and determine it, but otherwise, no. uh, you can take a short rest. Uh, nope. That is a negatory. I know nothing. <laughs> you you think it might be from a dragon? What is that smell? I I, I have no clue what that is. Would Seriously, you like me to give it an attack? Would you like me to try yeah. it? Yeah. I'm like I don't know what. It, it, it's it's shiny. That's gonna be a. Tw- 
That's going to be a 22. Okay. Um, oh, in answer to Ripper's question, you will get a short rest if you take a short rest. Mm. Um, and as for Camille's Arcana check, um, you, um, yeah, so you're able to, to determine exactly what this thing is. Um, so this will count as dragon scale mail, specifically that shared by a silver dragon. So one that's typically um, aligned with lawful goodness. Um, so the the resistance applied to it is cold damage. Sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. So oh, okay. You specifically... Oh, uh, it's purple. Oh. Uh, also, just for the record, it doesn't count as being made of metal so druids can wear it. I don't expect this to come up, <laughs> especially, uh, uh, especially as a paladin has it. But uh, uh, it, that is just uh, something to bring up. That's one of the things uh, about dragon scale mail as opposed to all other magical scale males. But unfortunately, my AC is higher with my chain mail. That's right. It's going to be 15 plus your dex modifier to a maximum of two. Yep. So if I were to put on this and take off my chain mail, I dropped to 17 AC. I kind of don't like that. Uh, I can't wear it or else I lose my blade song benefit. Ripper, what about you? Would like, you I'm, use it? I'm willing. I was like, I'm willing to. I get disadvantage of stealth either way. I'm willing to take a hit to my two AC that I would have gotten. Honestly, it's not my style, mate. I like to get in deep. It means either a good heavy set arm or take a good punch or so. That right there wouldn't last a weekend. Maybe we sell it when we get back to town. Uh, I'll, I'm looking at the benefits. The benefits outweigh that two AC, and I'm a paladin. I have enough healing. I'll, I'll wear the scale now. Alrighty. I may cover up the order of the silver dragon symbol on it with a cloak or something, but. If anything, I say keep a, keep that um, that symbol of silver dragon thing there, because who, whoever knows we might, we might run across me and you to just be a little bit more, you know, deceptive. See, we're more That's about why I position. put a cloak over it so I can be able to hide it if ever needed. Works, man. But, it's yeah, I'll keep, here. I'm going to keep my chain mail off the side in case I need it for the future, but I'll wear the dragon scale mail for now. Never gives it a thumbs up and you know, having, that's what. <laughs> yeah, having an advantage on the <clears> throat> throat> against the presence and breath, breath weapons against dragons and resistance to cold damage. <laughs> Which, the resistance to cold damage is what I really like, because if we're dealing with undead, they seem to like to try to chill us. Definitely. Uh, so since I'm wearing the armor and have resistance to cold damage, should I go ahead and put that in my defenses? It Does it, it not apply automatically if you're wearing the armor? Uh, it, it, what I suspect has happened is you've not attuned to it. Alright, uh, how do I attune to it, if I need Take to? Take a short rest. Yeah. Alright. Uh, oh, 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 do you mean how to do it in the D&D Beyond? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I need. Uh, oh, okay. um, if you click on the item to hold <coughs> up its page, it should give you a square to attune to it. I believe. Uh, okay, there we go. Thank you. You're welcome. I now have two weapons I'm attuned to, and only have one more attunement slot left. Yeah, I also have two attunement slots left. But my great sword of warning is something I is invaluable. I love that thing. I want a magic item. I've not got any. <laughs> Find one. <laughs> it never seemed to be anything about for me. <laughs> what? 
if I was still playing Talon, I'd be right there with you. But I'm not playing Talon, I'm playing Talon. But yeah, the benefits outweigh the cons. And honestly, after I tuned to it, I get an 18 because they gave me a plus one to detect uh, my AC. So I really only dropped one armor class point. There you go. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's fine. But if we're taking a short rest... Yeah, let's take a quick rest, and we'll get back on the road. Why not? It gets me a spell slot back. Good for you. I'm back up. I'm back up to full health. Thank God. No worries. So you, you would be able to um, to find a place where you can rest and do. I get my channel divinity back. It'll be short for us. You also can see that you're going to be heading uphill, or it's likely to be even colder. Uh, remember to um, to put on your cold weather gear. Uh, if you don't yep. want to suffer the effects of extreme cold. Yeah, I remember we went through and did the whole made cold weather gear for us. Yeah. Um, that's under my breastplate that protects me against cold damage. So it's double. Yeah, let's start making our way up the mountain. Hmm? No worries. So, um, yeah, you'd, um, you'd be able to, uh, to make your way, uh, further, further along. Um, when, uh, yeah, as you're, as you're coming around, uh, a corner to, uh, to a canyon, um, you can, uh, you can hear a great, uh, a great roar coming out. Uh, from uh, some distance ahead um, and you can hear some sounds of uh, of fighting I'd like to put my hand up there to halt everyone and um, definitely want to listen in to see what that is I'm going to send out Mirak to scout ahead no worries so we'll, um, we'll resolve uh, we'll resolve Rippers first because it's going to be fairly instant. So, um, so uh, you're you're looking to identify what's happening. Can you make a perception check, please? Sure. Also, we'll be considering forest area, right? Um, so you're not in the forest yet. Well, this would, oh. you know, this would sound more like a tundra. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, it's, more it's more, it's more mountain side. Uh, the, the forest, the forest is absolutely Whoa, you're nice. right. You're not in the in the woods. Oh, that was nice. so Okay, so with a twenty-five, um, you're able to, to 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 make out what this is. Um, this is this is a yell coming from a you know, a large creature, um, and uh, the sounds of fighting that seem to be coming from two individuals ahead. Uh, they uh, they sound like humanoids. Uh, the large creature is likely um, to, to be like a large, like beast or monstrosity of something of the kind. It's not a dragon. Oh, that's good. Definitely related information to everyone as well. All right, I'll set Mirak ahead, knowing what to look for. No worries. Um, and as for. As for what Mirak can find, um, you can see uh, that there looks to be there look to be you know two men um, dressed uh, you know, dressed in, in thick hide um, who seem to be being uh, attacked by three huge snow white monstrosities. All right, I'm gonna relay the information. There's a couple mm -hmm. of guys being attacked by a bunch of monsters. Do we want to go in and help? Yeah, let's go help. You have me at monsters. I'm gonna pull up my axe. Let's do it Anybody then. Anybody who attacks 
anybody who attacks somebody else is mm. not the best mindset. You can, can see, you uh, of me? I'm running into the fight. Yeah. Let's go. So, um, I'll, uh, I'll pop you on the map. Sorry, I should say two, there's, there's, yeah, there's two people, uh, and the, the, the walls with them. So as you get round, uh, whilst there's been, uh, a delay, um, the, uh, the, uh, the, yeah, these uh, creatures do seem to have uh, inflicted some casualties. But you can see that um, one of them uh, is down and looks to be dead. And uh, you can see that uh, another is uh, is bloodied. Um, and that, uh, yeah, and that uh, a third, uh, third looks to be, yeah, I mean, yeah. So you can see that there are two of them fighting uh, and a third who looks to have come in um, Merakso climbing down. So, can all three of, sorry, all five of you roll initiative, and I'll get initiative scores for them as there. I'm so glad for the advantage. Oh no. Uh, you can sort of adjust yourselves in the in the line, but no further than where you are. All right, there for the minute. Everybody yeah, concentrate on, on green first, try and get it off that guy. He could be important. If he's not, we can just kill yeah. him after. Let me in the middle so I can get so I can hit everybody. No worries, so I'm just getting uh, getting theirs in. Um the the highest they got was blue with twenty one. There we go. And then I'm ready when you are. <laughs> Is everyone's initiatives in? Uh, I believe so. Have yeah. you ever seen mine? Already yeah, blue, is, blue is up first. Uh, okay, so blue uh, blue is up first. Uh, okay. Um. So the uh, uh, the Yeti's gonna try and uh, gonna sort of yeah, move further round uh, and try and make two call attacks against yellow. Uh, and. Yeah, one of them is going to uh, is going to go through, um, and that is going to be uh, Blue's turn. Ripper. Sorry, had mic issue. It's okay. Well, I'm gonna do what I usually do anyway, which is um, for a moment to get would take me about right. Yeah, here. So he's gonna run full speed this way and then say Alright people, you you know the drill. Run it straight and he's gonna actually take a full thirty step and fling that axe right into that the, uh blue's neck or wherever he can aim for aim at. Trying to hit the thing. Oh almost forgot, bonus action. Uh guy do um guy do uh Slayer's Prey. Go for it. How much we got? Dirty. 20. Very nice. Okay, so uh, a 20 is going to hit blue. So, yeah, that'll all go through. Okay, yeah. So, nine session from the hand axe. And then, do you get anything else for Slayer's Prey? Yep. Yeah, you can add one more piece of damage onto that. No worries. It all matters. Even 10. Let's go. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, stand here, wait for some more action. Come and get it. Alright, Christina, you're up. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that there or that. 
there then. I'll take a shot at green with my crossbow. Go for it. Uh, 20's gonna hit. Another 20. Yay! Seven piercing damage, all going for... Uh... I will also rage during my wild charge. Excellent. Four. Which one's number four? Uh, magic infuses one weapon of my choice. Okay. If I throw it, it automatically teleports back to my hand. Oh, nice. Uh, I'll choose my crossbow to be magical because my sword's already magical. Fair enough. And that'll be me. Green. Go for it. Okay. Green. Um. So yeah. So green's been uh, been been shot at. So uh, green's going to uh, going to to look towards Christina, um, and attempt to use their chilling gaze. Can you um, can you make a Constitution saving throw, please, Christina? Yes, I can. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, so, if you make a, a saving throw, then you're immune to any further chilling gazes. Um, and then. Leaving you to blue uh, is going to sort of move in yellow. Will so moving yellow to blue is going to try and move in and hit you. Uh, yellow is going to use a reaction to uh, to hit it with a great axe there. So I'll get that put first. Um, but that's what it's going to do. Um, so the two attacks that it can make, as well as the gaze. Um, are going to be uh, uh, going to be an eight and a, a nat twenty, I'm afraid. So I'll put that through. So there's going to be eleven slashing damage, which, as you are raging, you can halve to five. And then there's going to be five cold damage. Uh, so unless you've got resistance cold damage, that's going to be ten damage. Gotcha. Who's next? Uh, next is red. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so red's gonna bypass yellow altogether, and again um, is gonna use the gaze and then make two attacks. So can uh, can Ripper make me a con save, please? Sure. Fifteen. Fifteen. That'll make the save. And then the two attacks are going to be a 21 and a 22. Both those hit. No worries. So the first one is going to be 9 slashing plus 4 cold for a total of 13. Can I uh, absorb I that uh, cold damage with absorb elements? Uh, so that gives you resistance. So that would instead be 9 damage plus 2 cold damage for uh, for a total of 11. Okay. Uh, oh. And then... Oh, yeah. yeah. That hurt, and uh, I, you see him kind of uh, more blood comes out of him, and then he goes back into him. It's kind of weird. Anyway, keep going. That's fine. And then the second attack is going to be nine slashing plus two cold damage. If absorb elements gives you reaction for the whole turn, then you may have that to one. Otherwise, you don't. Okay. So it's Go on. Yeah, I was wondering what the total was. Oh, right. So the total would have been 11 from the first, and uh, it would have been 11 from the second if you okay. don't apply the resistance to the second, and okay. a 10 if you do. All right, good to go. 
All right, I'm gonna speed. All right, next up is Ash. Okay, uh, try and get the blue one away from yellow. I'm gonna hex on it first for a mm-hmm. section, and then I'll just blast it. Go for it. This is on blue. Uh, so a fifteen and an eleven. Uh, fifteen hits and eleven misses. Misses, yeah. So the the one that hits plus the necrotic will bang on twenty damage on blue. Get okay, 20 damage or going for. And then Glanaventa will move to Ripper and provide the help action for his next attack. And then that'll be me done. Go for All right. that. Alright, oh. oh, you're up. Oh. Um, I'm looking at what I want to do. First things first. Uh, you are close. This to me. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just do a bat action. See if I can double bat. First bat is a twenty-one. That'll hit. Great. Take the damage for that, and now for a second attack. Go for it. Second plant attack is a 23. That's going to hit. It's a total of 16 slashing damage. Cool, green is bloodied. That's just blue, I that's all I can do. No right. worries. I am up. Movement. Get that. Jumping up in here. Mm-hmm. Bonus action. Uh, last second level slot. Misty step. For another 30. Mm-hmm. Jump right behind blue. Action green flame blade. Go for it. That's a can ship, so that's a thing you can do after casting a spell. Go for it. Oh, so close. Dirty 20, fishing for the crit. Not quite. That's fine. Oh, sorry, to crit fish. Because uh, I, I like to insist it goes to the middle, so it'd be here. Oh, yep, got it. But, uh, it. That's absolutely still a thing that you would A, need Misty Step for, and B, be able to do with Misty Step, so it's all good. Mm-hmm. So, great uh, right here. Yeah. Eight piercing. Uh huh. Plus. Uh, eight. Yep. Seven fire. Uh, okay, all going through. I'm gonna presume that you want to forgo the bit about letting the green flames sp- uh, um, uh, split onto you know, yes onto yellow. Do I have that distance? No, it's only within five feet. Or isn't it within five feet of the target? Yeah, it's five feet with the target. So, I would, I, oh, you mean from attacking yellow? Yes, yeah, I'm going yeah. to forego it. Yes, I'm going that's, to forego it. That's fine. Um, after being uh, hit with this fire damage, um, blue seems noticeably startled by this. Um, I'm going to put that symbol on to represent the startledness. All right. This is, uh, this is a mechanical startling. Mm. That is going to be my turn. We're on to yellow. Yellow. Uh, okay, so if it's yellow's turn, then um, yellow's going to say, uh, uh, I don't know who you are, but thank goodness you've come. I have to take these things down. And um, it's going to uh, do the equivalent of a reckless attack. Uh, so provoking advantage, but gaining advantage, um, and it's going to use that to uh, hit the uh, this creature. Yeah, hit blue, um, and uh, with twelve slashing damage, that'll actually be enough to finish off blue. There you go. Can we can we do like a tag team where I take out the heel and he goes for the head? <laughs> Absolutely. 
Go, go, stranger! That's hilarious. You've done something right for once. Hooray, my melee build is actually compatible. <laughs> cool. And then uh, that's going to be Yellow's turn. So excited right. to get Lou, forgets to move, as one does. Back up to the top, Lou is dead, so we're going to Ripper. All right, time, time to go crazy. Here we go. So first thing he's gonna say is, uh, is these ones like like staring at people. So let me fix that. Oi, come here. Come here. Aim for, aim for that. <laughs> so, Who I'm called me? Cloud, <laughs> three feet off the ground. I mean, uh, pretty much. Well, in this area. That's fine. You'll be able to cast it in, in such a way that it effectively leaves red blinded but doesn't stop you making attacks against red's feet. Never. Absolutely. So I'm going to bonus action. Of course, Slayer's played this scumbag. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to bite him with advantage because you because uh, of because of the um, glad oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, Because of the fog cloud. Uh, yeah, red's too. blinded. Um, it, it, when you bite, is that a bonus action? Uh, no, that's a uh, action. That's a action attack. Action. Oh, well, it's uh, it's just the the fog clouds an action that says. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say it. Action surge. Oh, oh yeah, okay, all good then. Absolutely. So yeah, a uh, fifteen's gonna hit red. All right, so I'm gonna bite him, and I'm also gonna get uh, the. Let's see, let's just roll that damage first. So first, got the thing bite. Yep. Uh, that's three. Then we got the um, Slayer's Prey. I'll get that all put through. Oh, wait, let me get this one here, too. Sorry. I, Ranger, got a lot going on. Sorry. Absolutely. Uh, then I get the... Um... Oh, yeah. I also get um, health from this, too. I was about that because of Fang White. Mm. And, oh, almost forgot. I've still got the uh, Zorb Element, so he gets another D6. Of cold damage. Ah, uh, if it's a D6 of cold damage, you won't be taking it, I'm afraid. So he's immune? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it was like pre-rolled as two or something, but that's what you're able to, to discern. Um, right. Works for me. Uh, can I expend any of the superiority days here? No, I can't. I'm not. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna hang on with this guy, though. Just bite him, and... Um, no, the, 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 just sink my teeth into the meaty portion of his thigh and just hang on. All right, Christina's up next. I'm gonna it green. <laughs> Never mind. Ooh. Second attack. Oh wait, wait, wait. Um, what, where where is the fog cloud cast exactly? Because it's got a twenty foot radius. Right. Um, three feet off the ground. Now. I I thought I actually showed you here. Um, I went from. Yeah, there. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Edge point. <laughs> No, that's fine. Lower, that's lower fine. Yeah, lower stuff basically covering me. Glad adventure. That way, it's, uh, the circle is co covering them because I can't get my shapes, my shapes to work for some reason. That's fine. I was just trying to think if there's a way to get red or green, and I don't think there is without no, like could, the I downwards know, was, part getting everyone else. I was aiming for red. I was aiming for red. So perfect. That's fine. But it's right. Christine's got a second attack. But, yeah. Uh, a 13 will hit. Okay, and that's going to be... Is it going to be 12 or 14? That's going to be 14, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, you said you were raging earlier. So all of that will go through. <coughs> that's me. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Pass the baton. All right, green. Okay. So, uh, let's see. So, Green's tried to get Christina with the gaze. Christina's succeeded on the save. So, we'll try and get Hope on the save and then make one attack against each of you. So, while I'm getting those rolled, can Hope make me a constitution saving throw, please? Yep. Alright, where's my constitution? There it is. Uh, that's going to be a 21. That's going to be a save. So, no additional, uh, so no ill effects from the gaze. Uh, as for the attacks, it's going to be a, a 23 on Christina and an 11 on Hope. Uh, the 11 will not hit me. 
but the 23 Sorry, will hit Christina, I reckon. <laughs> so that's going to be 5 slashing damage that Christina may have to 2, plus 5 cold damage, uh, which, unless it is resisted, is going to be a total of 7. Uh, and that's going to be green. All right, red. Red. Uh, okay, so red's um, red's gaze requires him to be able to requires him to be able to see the uh, the target, um, as well as for the target to see it. So it's just going to make two attacks against Ripper, but these are going to be with disadvantage due to being effectively blinded. Uh, so the first attack ends up being a 15 turned into a nat 1 by the disadvantage. And the Ooh. second attack is an 18 that gets turned into a 17. Does the 17 hit? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, then that's going to be Red's go. All right, Ash. Okay, um, girls have got green sorted, so I'll transfer my hex onto Red. And just... Blast it red. Oh, so um, you'd have miss. advantage because red is effectively blinded. Oh, cool. So we'll just call that one beam and that's that fine. Hits. So the 16 hits for 11 plus my hex damage. Yep. So 16. Oh, going through. Second beam. An 18. Also going to be a hit. For 10. Plus the hex. Oh, does it get twice? I thought it only got once. Uh, it's it's once per each. It's once per hit. Oh, okay. Nice. So uh, further 16. 16. Yeah, so you can do some cool things if you get like a wand of magic missiles or something. Or I guess mm. just upcast magic missile. But mm. and in any case, uh, that um, that is all going to go through. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, nope, that's me done. Oh. Alrighty, I'm just gonna do a double bat action again. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, where's my weapon? There it is. First bat is going to miss. Mm -hmm. Second bat is an 11 hit. It's gonna miss, I'm afraid. I cannot bat today. Never mind. Next person. I'm up. I'm gonna yell at. I'm going to shout out yellow to go for green, then I'm going to green flame blade red. Go for it. Uh, that is a 25 to hit. That's a hit, but can you do better with advantage? Let's see. I cannot. No worries. That is going to be nine piercing. Mm -hmm. Plus seven fire. Cool. All of that will go through. How do you want to finish off red? I'm going to stab it through the buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> go I mean, for that's it. where I am right now. Uh huh. Then, that's that is my, then that's my turn going on to yellow. Okay. So yellow's going to move up to, to, to green. I'm going to, uh, I guess, uh, attempt to, to fight with, uh, well, can reckless attack anyway. Um, but that's going to be. Um, that's going to be a 17 to hit, which will hit. And if I put that damage the He's... That's... He's going to... Um, with, with 12 slashing damage, I'm afraid that's going to finish off green as well. So, yellow, following Kamir's instructions, will uh, will come round and bury a uh, great axe into the back of green. <laughs> How do you want to do this? <laughs> as I say, bury great axe into back of this... Uh green monstrosity and with that i think we can take ourselves out of uh, out of initiative unless anyone particularly wants to hack yellow to death no no not yet <laughs> ripple will just absorb this fall cloud back into his body and then go over to this uh you know to this yeti oh, excuse me actually go over the, this yeti right here and say, I believe this is long to me, and then yank his axe out of it. <laughs> Go for it. I mean, oi. I, aren't you a druid? 
The um. Me? Yeah. Aren't you a druid? No. She's a barbarian. But one of us over here was druid. I was going to ask a question here. What's the going rate on getting some yeti fur, or maybe some dead eyes? Can you do something with them? I think we have Talon still at the church. You could ask him. Perhaps. He's the only druid I know. In that case, you guys will be all, all uh, social with uh, no man right here. I'm going to be busy. And then he's going to extend his fangs. I want to drink this, this so get his blood. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. You can drink his blood. I start munching on an arm and I'm the bad guy. You, you did both <laughs> vile creatures. You should respect Dead. Agreed. I'm just gonna come over quickly and just green flame blade the green one just to make sure he doesn't get back up. You may you may do so. We we don't we, we don't need to do a roll for the process of doing that. Uh, green is not getting back up. Perfect. I'm gonna gonna sheath my rapier. I'm gonna walk up to yellow. I'm going to ask what happened. Okay. So, um, Yellow's going to say, uh, we were, uh, we were taking the dogs hunting. And, uh, they seem surprised us. They must have been uh, hunting themselves. You need help transporting them back to somewhere you can bury them? Yellow, uh, yellow nods. Uh, the village is, is only a few miles away. Uh, we should be able to, to take them. And if you want to, uh, if you want to help take some of these bodies back, we can, we can use their fur. You guys go with that? It doesn't seem like it's too far out of our way since we just crossed the bridge not too long ago. Yeah, I'm good yeah. yeah. Well, unless we're gonna pass that night thing again. <laughs> so uh, he um, he gestures uh, that the village is gonna be this way. Oh, the right way. Yeah, like forwards. Mm. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we are that way anyway. But. Yeah, let's crack on. So, uh, in which case, uh, he's going to uh, get to um, to take the body of his his companion back. Uh, it is a sort of. I mean, it's it's uh, it's it's, it's going to be a difficult thing to do to carry uh, the body for that length. Uh, but uh, you know, put put over one shoulder. Uh, it, it seems to it seems to work. Um, and I, I really, I think some of these larger corpses are going to have to be dragged. Um, but, uh, it is, uh, it is a thing that can be done. Make them into a sledge. Okay, um, I'm oh, sorry, as Get for, um, so, uh, as for, for Ripper's questions in the Roll20, as for do you regain any HP, um, what, what's, uh, what, uh, what feature would you be using to regain the HP? Well, here's the thing, uh, this is more of a DM call, the thing bite gives me temp HP, uh-huh. Fighting or in a fight, but if I was sat there and actually drank this guy's blood, would that actually help me? Uh, can you let's see, let's have a look at the description. Uh, so it's in, it's one of your features, isn't it? From being uh, it's a racial feature of being a dump here, but mm-hmm. also, like, you know, uh, this is more like the combat application of it where you get 10 page from biting. But I was just wondering, would there would I be able to drink this thing's blood when I'm not fighting? and heal from it. Okay. Um, so it looks like the limit on this isn't actually whether the creature is alive or not, uh, but it's just like proficiency bonus ones. So okay. you, you can choose to bite it to uh, to restore yourself. Because um, uh, there's, there's, you know, there's not a way it can be gained. You know, you've got uh, proficiency bonuses for long rest. And uh, okay. uh, there is... Oh, no, I, I, think, I, think, I don't think there's going to be anything wrong with that. Uh, and so, as for as for your other question, so that was that was popped in there about uh, skin the Yeti and claiming their eyes. Um, yellow is not going to prevent you doing that. Okay. 
So you can, I mean, if you're if you're looking for a great big bit of skin, uh, that's that's going to need a survival check. Okay, good. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, with a survival oh, check, you're me. able to remove an eye on your first attempt, and uh, you know take a, a good bit, bit, good big bit, a bit of skin. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna go catch up with everybody else. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, yeah, Yellow's going to to lead you a few miles uh, to um, to uh, to a point where the uh, where the the forest does come close to the path, and uh, you can see. You can see sort of lights in the uh, in the distance, um, indicating the presence of a village. Is there anything that you would wish to say to Yellow on the way there? Well, what's your name? <laughs> you will say, uh, my name is Jakarian. I'm Christina. You're from the, uh, the Valley Lands, aren't you all? Yes. Like, yes, <laughs> yes. You mean like the outside? Of, is he referring to the outside of Morocco? Um, he, uh, he seems to be somewhat confused by the, uh, the question and sort of points northwards. Uh, like in the vague direction of like Valaki and uh, y- y- you know and and Beres and all the rest of it. He says uh, uh, from the valley. Not quite. We were sent as tributes by the count. Okay. We he. Uh... So he, uh, he didn't. Uh, he looks puzzled at uh, you know the, the term of uh, tribute, um, but uh, yeah, he uh, he will say uh, uh, we know the count. Yeah, he, uh, he came here to our people many decades ago. So it is said. Uh, we. Uh, our leader then uh, accepted his rulership, and then he didn't come to visit us again. What count is that? Count that is always watching, no matter what you think. They say he meets with our forest brothers. He has not come to visit us. Not again. Are you here to leave his rule? I suppose he could say it. What does he mean by leave his rule? Like enforce it? Um, so he said, like, so, I'm not, so I'm not, uh, so he, so he says that, you know, have you come here to, like, escape his rule? Like, oh. if you're in a place where the Count isn't really doing a lot, uh, then presumably a lot of his laws wouldn't really apply here. In a way, we, in a way we are. We're here to end his reign. Jakarin looks at you uh, strangely. And his reign here. He's in the valley. That's how they say. It is a step of the process. There's a mountain near here that we are on a journey to to assist us in our quest. Jakarian, uh, you know, looks up to uh, towards the summit, uh, and says, uh, 
are heading further. Be careful. There's a big dragon about. They say, uh, centuries ago, uh, in the time of my father's 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 They hunt the... Over my chest plate real quick. They, they hunt the yetis that you see in the valley and some of the larger creatures. You reckon there be, that dragon is the same one that the Order follows? Oh, is this a question you asked to Jakarian? No, I'm asking the party. Oh, that's fine. Oh, because it be. doesn't seem like, yeah, it doesn't seem like they've had any impl or they've had like any activities I out think, here. I think it's more likely they followed the silver dragon, and when the white dragon took over for any reason, it killed the orc. Yeah, that, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm thinking maybe the silver dragon left to like lead the the order, and then obviously there was a power vacuum, so the white dragon rose up. Yeah, because dragons are very territorial. They usually don't like caring with other dragons. Yeah, that is my guess. My theory. Mm. My game! It's a theory! theory. <laughs> you know what? You're abandoned. Get out of here. You're dropped on the head of the child. Oh. Uh, uh. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, Elder. Uh, on the subject of the dragon, uh, Jakarin would say, uh, our elder uh, uh, says uh, to the northeast, uh, there is a, a wall of ice made by the dragon, and if we cross it, we are forfeit to the dragon's hunts. Hmm. Well, we know where to look for it. Hmm. <sighs> Somebody in the village might know a secret way through. Uh, can I pull out a map and ask him to point out where this wall would be? Absolutely. So if you um, if you pull out uh, uh, you know the the you know the map you have that will look something like this, um, uh, Jakarian does seem uh, you know, somewhat. Um, that somewhat curious and at the same time sort of bewildered. Um, he does show signs of knowing like what a map is and how it works, um, but uh, it seems to be very distracted. Yeah. Uh, just to you, uh, the valley is this big? Yeah, very big. No, this is just a map. It's a small scale. It's actually much bigger. You're fired. Jakari <laughs> uh, uh, doesn't laugh and continues uh, looking at it. Do you see the dragon in these northern lands as well? This is sort of pointing around like Lake Zarevich. We haven't seen the dragon, but we have seen the order of the silver dragon. Mm. And there are plenty of other dangers. Yes. Werewolves, most importantly. Hmm. Um, I add to your uh, comment on the Order of the Silver Dragon here, say, uh, we see them sometimes near, near the lake, pointing to uh, this lake here. Uh, they're dead. Hmm. Yeah, Rex, probably a good idea to cover up that chest plate. <laughs> Anybody got? Uh, I'm gonna just have my shirt over it. Well, I mean, if, if you've been wearing it openly, he hasn't like shown much of a reaction to it. Uh, he says they are dead, and they don't seem to do I... much more than any of our dead. But, uh, nothing really. 
Not all of them. I'm just kind of, kind of say under my breath. I share them out. Oh, they uh, say they have a great purpose yet to be established. Well, Ask him from, if... Oh, sorry. From the few we've encountered, it seems like they already have their goal. Right? Because if they don't like Strahd, and Strahd doesn't like them, it seems likely that they could be akin to an opposing power. This entire thing is confusing. Can I ask him if he's uh, you met a man in recent weeks going by the name of Danlos? We saw uh, a stranger from the valley passing. He wasn't interested in us and we weren't interested in him. Uh, he'll have been going to the summit, I guess. Uh, but past this point, he uh, points to while I'm pinging on the map. I'm sure he'll have been eaten. So he did make it to the mountain, and he was on his way to the summit. Good to right, know. I just might want to keep the us. This being very unique. Hey, probably a good idea. You're not playing D&D, Cat. Go away. <laughs> oh, let him play! No! It's only the text out of my browser several times. <laughs> Is there anything else you would like to say to Jakarian? Nope. I'm good. It's a, it's a joke, not saying this to the character. Does he need some hope? <laughs> and uh, in which case, I'll uh, I'll pop you on the uh, the the, uh, the village map. Um, since you'll uh, yeah, since during this time, you will have uh, made your way there. Yeah. I actually like to ask while I'm here, like, oi, anyone here good with tanning and leather work? We uh work with. Leathers and furs of many animals. Smashing. Hey, I've got this here fur from a yeti. Just really butchered. It may be a little bit red, but that's okay. But can you do something with this? Works into something. I'm sure we'll be able to do something for that. You want a cloak? Oh, yeah, I'll be gear. Also, what about this eyeball here? Is it good for you? He pulls out the sticky, still warm eyeball. Yeah. They'll eat that, I imagine. That's for soup. <laughs> you make for soup you, maybe. Parts. You make soups out of monster parts. Um, what, you've never had sheep's eye? <laughs> no, a, a sheep is a, a sheep, but a monster is a monster. You don't eat monsters, you kill them, you smash them. Just like evil. I, I know a smashing anime that would say differently. What's an anime, mate? <laughs> <laughs> You may, Kamir doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just um, occasion. Must I go on? No, I'm. Nothing. <laughs> okay, no worries. Uh, as to the query about the eye, uh, Jakarian uh, will say, uh, uh, can toss him in the soup, I suppose. Uh, I don't know about them having any. Strange effects. Okay. In that case, you eat le yeti soup. I'm gonna eat pretty much anything else. I swear to God, if Dom brings out that arm again, I smack him with it. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll eat the eyeball soup. <laughs> no, he's no, he's actually gonna eat a leg this time. <laughs> Kick it up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> No worries. So, um, yeah, so you'll be coming in from the, the northeast. Um, so it, it's um, sort of a bit off the, off the path. 
and like to the southwest, there's uh, there's the edge of the forest. Uh, they seem to be sort of deliberately in at like a sort of sheltered spot near the forest, uh, but not uh, not within it. Um, so you can see that they've got a you know, tent set up made from the skins of various animals. Um, uh, you, know, you can see that there's uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of people about. These are just sort of some nominal positions that are put out, and it should be getting. Well, maybe not close to, to to evening, but certainly to um, to afternoon. Uh, by the time you uh, by the time you get there, we need a long rest. We do. Um, I know. <laughs> well, somebody slap him upside the head with a sword, please. Then he'll need one. I draw my rapier. <laughs> I'll actually get worse on having a long rest. Except for yes, the dude, I can't yeah. <laughs> But well, jokes on you. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Mm. Or the one. Mm. Okay. Somebody uh, knock him out with a frying pan. Mm. <laughs> so, um, going in, you, you, know, you can see that there's uh, a couple that sort of standing watch at the in at the. Uh, at the entrance, and there'll be sort of shocked to see like a, a bloody Jakarian carrying uh, you know, the, the, the corpse of one of his people, and they'll be you know equally saddened by the uh, the bringing of their their wolves uh, that they you know, they, they, uh, they have tamed as hunting dogs. Um, if you are bringing the yetis with you as well, uh, they will be uh, yeah, they will be yeah, surprised but pleased to, to see them brought back. Yeah, one of them asks what's happened, and the you know, Jakarina explains the situation. Uh, and uh, yeah, the Jakarina will, uh, will say, uh, uh, you will be welcome to, to stay here for, for the night. Uh, uh, I must take my companion to the shaman for burial. Give him a nod. <clears throat> Could Thank you, you for um, your hospitality. Yeah. Would, your, would your village elder be willing to speak with us and where can we find him he uh, he may well do you can uh, you can try speaking uh, with him uh, in the red tent oh yeah there's one you know there's one tent that's unusually red uh this, uh, you know, this one as you approach looks to have been you know, deliberately uh, stained that way with uh, with animal blood. Uh, that would make sense given everything. <laughs> mm. uh, <okay. laughs> so, um, probably put some guards on the map, shouldn't I? Uh, yes, so the, uh, the the shaman's tent seems to be nearby. Uh, you know, as, as you, you come, you can see uh, the guards standing by. They will, like, uh, they'll say, uh, <clears throat> Was it you who, uh, you helped Jakarian? It was, yes. Once it once it was saved him, we'll definitely need help, you know. Then our, our elder will uh, will speak with you, uh, and uh, then the flap is listed and uh, li lifted, and you can see inside the tent. Yeah. Uh, so um, inside, you know, you can see. Um, you can see uh, a, a man who's uh, you're wearing. Um, Wearing like leather armor, and you're know, clad in, uh, in in many furs. Uh, and uh, he will uh, he will uh, introduce himself as the elder and say to you, uh, "I've heard I've heard what's happened. Uh, we don't get too many people from the valley coming all this way. Hmm. I hope you don't mean to uh, disturb." The great, the, you know, the worm that sits atop the mountain. Is worm evil? It's a, it, they're talking about the dragon we were just told about. 
I know. I'm trying to make a joke like you usually do, but you also ruined it, so let's keep it going, I guess. We do find the worm to be an evil. Though, as the shaman will say, uh, in our legends, uh, the place where it lairs was always an evil place. Uh, They say the worm was birthed from the darkness within. Our our quest takes us to the top of the mountain, to a a temple, wasn't it? A temple up there. If you know of a... And smash evil too, because that's what we do. If you know of a way of getting there and uh, getting what we need without disturbing the dragon. The temple is its lair. If you are sincere about your approach, then you will need to you will need to find a way to lure the dragon away, or at least uh, to attack when it is hunting. And then maybe you will be able to find a way in. Uh, you see, it constantly snows at the top. Um, oh, Rip, sorry, I've just seen Ripper's message. You may do so. Okay. Um, you get the feeling that he seems to be sincere, uh, that he is sort of somewhat distrustful of you. Um, but uh, isn't going to deliberately feed you a bunch of lies to get eaten by a dragon. That's good. Yeah. As for uh, as for the elder, he will uh, he will continue. Uh, none of us have ever been inside, though. I do not even know if the the door opens for you. Your whatever, le- but whatever you do, I will not have harm come to this village because of your efforts. What you do, you do alone without us and without our assistance. Uh, we will let you overnight, but afterwards, uh, if your journey is there, you must bear these perils alone. We are grateful for what you have done for us, uh, but that... Uh, Dragon would be a threat to us greater than any yeti. Uh, we play in the house and I go the patio and we focus on well, We appreciate your hospitality. Mm. And we will do our best to ensure no harm comes to this village. We will not tell of your well even that you let us stay overnight if the if the dragon happens to ask. I doubt I we'll have that... casual conversation with it, but <laughs> They say dragons can talk, but that few live to report what they say. Well, I got a better question for you, then, mate. Can this dragon bleed? Uh, I'm afraid I am alive, which means I haven't tried. <laughs> what if it bleeds? Doesn't mean. Doesn't mean we can't try. Oh, it's, it's do what you do not. There's no try. Oh, excuse me. I've got a dragon to handle, mate. That's going to be all kinds of points when I get back to the proper uh, hunting lodge. But the boys, huh? They'll be impressed when they hear this. Are well, you all not excited? I've got my own plans with it. It's, I'm wherever Christina is, though. So. Uh, yeah, I think sensible plan is just not being anywhere near the dragon. Indeed. Especially when I'm wearing the armor of a silver one and it's a white one. Mm. Does the uh, the elder, do you know of any veg? One at a time, please. <laughs> Go 
I'm just saying, the chance to actually bring down the dragon, especially when it's plaguing people, it doesn't get your blood racing. Huh? The uh, the elder shows uh, you know, no signs of uh, uh, of this. Uh, and I will say, uh, I'm no coward. I have hunted many beasts in my time. But that thing is something else. We uh, yeah. we respect uh, the ice wall that keeps it from us and us from it. See, this man is smart. Looking at. Copal Thunder Ripper. The rest of the party agree you do not go after the dragon. Especially right now, you're probably going to get it killed. I, for one, don't think any of us can take enough hits from a dragon to survive and tell the tale. Well, it can't hit you if it's dead or if you hit it hard enough. Like I said, the dragon's evil, and here, of course, you know, only business is what I do with evil, and that's smash it. And also, if you smash a dragon, ugh, they don't come around much, and it's, it's the stuff of legends, mate. Tell me the one thing. If we're gonna take I'm down the cow, we evil. need. Like, I'm if we're gonna take. That's a different level of evil. If we're gonna take down the cow, we need to find a way around the dragon. So. Can I ask the elder to do it? Is... Go on, sorry. So, uh. From what we've been given about the prophecy, this seems like the first step we have to take. So, I think that if we can't fight it head or if we can't fight it head to head, we might be able to find another way around it. Maybe if we were to contact the Silver Order, they might be able to assist us in some way. Yeah, if we no it come down I, to us not having the firepower. I think they're all dead. Dead, dead. Well, not uh, not. Probably die. Yeah. I don't think. We yeah, I, I think they're all all dead. No, we encountered the one outside of Ravenloft. So we oh, know there's at least one alive. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But are we sure they're even gonna help us? Because they were probably got wiped out by that guy and want nothing to do with it. Mm. Fair. Which we should take from their warning. We're probably gonna die going up against that thing. If uh, if the elder can hear your conversation, he will interject. Uh, you say the dragon knights are dead. Uh, they are. But when has that stopped anyone in this land? See, that's what. That's what... what... Oh. No, I think about it, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's that's what I'm saying. They're skeletons. They're undead. They can still fight. We just have to find a way to get into contact with them. We sometimes see them see. near the lake. They, uh... They say that they have a purpose. And do nothing. But if you think that you can rouse uh, some life into their bones, then so be it. I do believe we can. I still think the dead need to dead. It's not our place to wake them back up. It, well, they're already awake. All we're doing is ensuring that they have a purpose while they're awake. Fine. As long as we're not waking any up. We aren't. I, I, I think it'd be reasonable to say that if the Elders spoken to them, then that they, uh, you know, they, they, they must, as, as Kamir say, been been taking some actions. <laughs> Just the elders just not been impressed with uh, their uh, the results delivered, shall we say? But uh, adds one I, of things. I think we get in contact with the order, and then we mount a raid on the temple. And for that, I don't know because that's just gonna make the dragon really angry. I'm up for just sneaking in. Maybe we can do both. Well, I mean, it can't hurt to go and speak to them. Was um, did, was Aslusless asking about legends of some kind? I think you got cut off a couple. Oh of yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, just, uh, any legends of how the, the silver dragon came? Uh, how the white dragon came to replace the silver dragon? If this village has been here for uh, yeah long enough. 
Uh, the shaman will tell you more, but uh, we'll be tending to uh, the departed. As for uh, as for what I know, they say the white dragon emerged from the temple and slew the silver dragon in battle. Okay. Uh, that the uh, the order perished that fateful day. But uh, the dead uh, rose. Legends say they continue with their work, but uh, we're not sure what their work was, and we're not sure now. Uh, they are far away in the valley. Uh, then there is their outpost uh, near the lake. The outpost. When we were on our way to the river, do you think that might have been? Oh, was that? Remember that castle that we just skipped past because we didn't want to do it now? Do so uh, I'll, 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 I'll pop you. I'll pop you on the map, um, just so you can see. So there are two places that you've seen that, that uh, seem to be associated with the silver dragon. Um, so uh. there's there's one place here that you did absolutely go past. Uh, and then you saw another one round here after you cleared the storm of Gakis. Uh, um, okay. As for the lake, the, the lake is here. Uh, or, or at least, yeah, that would be the reasonable uh, assumption based on where you are and where all the lakes are. It's a long way back. But if we go, we can meet them at the lake, and they're close enough that they could bring troops. I think we could mount a raid between the two forts. Yeah. So you can sort of decide whether you want to go back to, like, here, or maybe even all the way back to here, and meet up with the Order of the Silver Dragon, um, assuming that you know, the 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 out the, the fort you saw there is indeed the outpost mentioned by uh, the elder, although it would sort of fit geographically, uh, or yeah. whether you want to go on to deal with the dragon. That's ultimately something that you'll have to decide yourselves as a group. Uh, would it be if we did the order of the silver dragon? Is me wearing the armor a good idea? I don't think so. No, <laughs> put it in a bag, not. and um, we can always ask permission later. Yeah. I'll just cover it up with my jacket real quick. <laughs> I chose for a fur jacket. I think we go back to the lake, we take a long rest, and we stake it out until one of their members comes by next. We come back with them and we make our case to the order. Okay, I think what we'll do is we can either have like a full vote between the two or you can like type what you want to do in the roll 20 and we can just sort of do like an inferred vote. I just hate going back. It's not going that far yeah. back though. Uh. I mean, I let's go back. Yeah, fine. Okay, uh, how about Christina? i go back. That's fine. So, stay overnight, head back over to see Order the Silver Dragon, and then go from there. Yeah. yeah I'm uh, all and for I presume long that rest. you're going to go only far, as far back as here, not all yeah. the way on the other no. side of there. We're not going back through the marsh. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, okay, so, uh, I think what, uh, so if we're going to take a long rest, uh, what I wanted to do over the long rest was have you level up to 7th level, because you, you've, yeah. you've come from uh, Malachi through the Lunar yeah. River and pass and everything. So, so yeah, you'll be able to, to, uh, to do the level up, come 7th level and all that, and, um, 
unless there's anything else you wanted to say to people here, that's sort of how I'd want to conclude the session with just wrapping things up at this village, um, leveling up, and then you know, we'll we'll do the uh, yeah, the order of the silver dragon bit next time because we're sort of we're in the last like twenty minutes really. Yeah, yeah that's fine. So, is there anything you want to ask before you start leveling up? Uh, just how long it would take to make that uh, that Yeti um, fur into a cloak, and what stats would it give me? Okay, but so it's that's fine. So it's uh, absolutely the sort of thing that you can have these uh, these people make. Um, they should, you know, because it's afternoon, they'll they should have it for you by the morning. Um, and you know, where when you wear whilst you wear the Yeti cloak, you have advantage on stealth checks made to hide in snowy terrain. Ooh, okay. Very nice. Which, um, given that this is, I think it's still November, but it's you know November in a mountainous area, so snow is going to be fairly common. And is there anything else anyone else wanted to ask? Not at the moment. I'm assuming we're wrapping up as we head off to a long rest. That's fine. Then I think what we'll do is we'll end the session here. And if anyone has any like long rest questions, we'll do that off stream. Because it's probably not going to be the most engaging for them this time to go through that. But I hope you've had a good one. Hey. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, thanks for thanks for coming, and thanks to Nikki for hosting this. <coughs> and of course, uh, thanks to the audience at home for watching this. Uh, additionally, uh, the maps are from DM Andy with additional maps by Tom Cartus. Uh, the tokens and the Barovia map are from Wizards of the Coast, and the music has been from Serpent Sound Studios. This has been Fate of the Dice's Curse of Strad. We had a good time. I look forward to seeing you. Uh, is it? Is it? Net, is it? We're not. Are we we're meeting again in a fortnight, or is it in October? Uh, in August, um, probably. It would be in August because next time Nikki and uh, Dom will not be here. In August. Look forward to seeing you then. Have a good one. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. That reminds me, I need to put on my vacation days.